Well, it looks like AI is here to stay, so we might as well use that to our advantage. Welcome, video editors. Today, we're going to talk about some of the audio-related AI tools that are going to completely revolutionize your editing process, making it both easier and faster, which, say it with me, will allow you to make more money. Yay. Okay, so we've got four tools for you today that we're gonna go through, including the sponsor of today's video, which is SoundDraw. Now, SoundDraw is an AI music generator of royalty-free music that will allow you to completely customize the background music for your videos. So we're gonna walk through SoundDraw and each of these other editing tools, and we're gonna talk about how they integrate into your editing workflow. SoundDraw is an AI music generator of royalty-free music, which allows you to completely customize the background music for your video. Now, what makes SoundDraw different from other stock audio sites? Well, let's put it this way. You know how it takes you forever to search through and find the perfect music track for your video because you want it to build at a certain point, you want it to be quiet at a different point, and sometimes it just doesn't work out and you end up chopping up a piece of music 20 different ways just to make it make sense. With this, you don't have to do that. You can use the power of AI to completely customize that music track in the platform itself, and you can export that track exactly exactly the way you want it. It's a completely customized track that works uniquely for your video. After you select all the filters you want for your particular track, you just put in the length and AI will generate a ton of different variations for you to choose from. This allows you to create songs that perfectly match your video in minutes as opposed to hours of sifting through music. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how it works right now. All right, so we've opened up SoundDraw and the first thing we're gonna do is hit create music. And now we're going to choose the length. So the video that I'm looking for this music track for is about a minute long. Let's say we want the tempo to be fast because it's a pretty upbeat video. Uh, so we just deselect normal, deselect slow, select the mood. I suppose it's somewhat happy, but we want something like kind of intense, something driving, something energetic. Let's go for epic. And now AI is creating music for us. So that's pretty cool. All right, so it's made a bunch of different tracks. So just to make sure that this matches well with the reference video, I can actually upload the reference video here into video preview. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my video there. And now whenever I play each of these songs, it's actually gonna start my reference video too and play it along with that. That's pretty awesome. Not that one, not that one. Mm, I like this one. That's a good option. So something else to keep in mind is this number over here that correlates to each song will change as you save different variations of this song. So say you like how this one builds right now, you wanna save it. There you go, you can heart that version. And now we're gonna start playing around with the different options using AI on how we can build and modify this song to suit the video. So you have a full view of the waveform right here and you can see the different bars of the song are labeled as low, low, very high, very high, low, 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 very high. And as you click through, you can change how the waveform builds or how the intensity decreases and you're essentially making your own song. So I just like to listen through it and make those adjustments based on how I feel the song should progress. And I like this version now, so I'm gonna download it. So if you wanna take this one step further, you can actually turn on pro mode. This is also really cool. I've been playing around with this for a bit. The pro tools you'll see are labeled down here. You have length, BPM, which is beats per minute. You have your instruments, your key, your volume all of that good stuff. Gray means that nothing is playing on that stem. Light blue means low intensity and dark blue means high intensity. So you can essentially go through and click these on and off depending on what you wanna hear. Each row correlates to whether it's the melody, the backing, the bass, the drums, etc. I like the song the way it is right now, but if you wanted to go one step further and you didn't like the drums or you didn't like the melody, how many times has that happened when you're looking for music and you're like, oh, I just wish that the melody wasn't there at this point in the song, or I wish it was just bass or just drums, you can 100% do that 
by using Pro Mode. My biggest bone to pick with most music licensing sites is that you have to use the song completely as is. And if you've been following me on this channel for a while, you noticed that I am ruthless with chopping up music tracks and making them work how I want them to work. And I think that's the sign of a good video editor. Sometimes I'm not using the actual beginning of the song, or sometimes I'm using a part in the middle and looping that three or four times because I want it to suit my edit the way I want it to suit it. And it's just such a painstaking process. I think that's super, super cool. It's a much cleaner way to get a high quality royalty free music track. Now you're able to customize it completely in the program itself and then download your own version of the way it's perfect for my content customize exactly how i want uh, i can't recommend this enough so if you guys are interested in checking out sound draw for yourself there is a link in my description box below and thank you again sound draw for sponsoring today's video now this is an ai driven editing tool to streamline your video editing process entirely so it's perfect for busy creators and it's got i'd say three main features so the first is the multi-camera editor and basically this edits multi-camera sequences automatically with up to 10 different cameras and microphones. So after syncing the audio and cameras, you just name each of the videos or audio tracks according to each speaker, and then you adjust the multi-shot frequency to choose how often you wanna cut the AI to the wide shots. Next, you'll press the create multi-cam edit, and you essentially just sit back and enjoy all the time you've saved. <laughs> Now, the second feature. So let's say you wanna cut a clip for socials. The social clip editor creates an entirely new sequence based off of an in and out point. So it automatically resizes the sequence settings and footage sizes based on the selected aspect ratio. It'll automatically add auto reframe, watermarks, it'll export the clip and it's completely ready for socials. The final feature, and this one I'm really excited about because when you're editing YouTube videos or anything for social, it's super important to keep you guys engaged. So anytime I pause right now, I can use a feature like this to cut out all of the dead space in between. This is the jump cut editor. So it automatically creates jump cuts in footage based on silence. It's often used for social clips where jump cuts are required to keep the audience's attention. Like I said in every YouTube video basically ever. All you do is input a decibel cutoff for your particular microphones and you just let the AI work its magic. It's super easy. The text-based editing. Now this is going to use AI technology to transcribe your source media automatically. It's really cool and is going to save you so much time. I actually used it recently and it's a complete game changer. Instead of sifting through like hours of footage to find the perfect sound bites, you can look through a transcript, make edits in the transcript, and those are going to match the edits that are happening in your timeline in real time. This is what directors and writers have been doing for decades, and now we have the ability to do it all at the same time, in Premiere, all at once. It's awesome. So here's how it works. In Premiere Pro, it's going to generate a transcript in real time as you're constructing your sequence. As you assemble the clips on the timeline, you can remove or copy and paste phrases from the sequence transcript, kind of like this, and you'll see the edits in the timeline adapt accordingly. So when your edit's done, the text-based editing equips you with a readily available transcript that can be used to then generate captions. This is what's making Reels and YouTube Shorts so easy for people to make right now. This used to be so time consuming and now it happens with a few clicks. It's cray cray. Moving on. <laughs> Next we have Adobe Podcast. So Adobe Podcast is essentially a service that uses artificial intelligence to analyze your podcast audio, generate transcripts, add music, clean up your audio, and so much more. Audio is rough. Okay, how many times as a video professional have you uttered the words, but I'm not actually like great at audio, and this is why Adobe has your back. So truly, whether you're a video editor or not, say you have zero experience and you just wanna start a podcast, this is made precisely for you. So this was designed to help you create professional quality podcasts with minimal effort and time. Adobe Podcast essentially elevates the quality of your podcast without you having to spend 
thousands of dollars on equipment and post-processing. So you can start a new project by uploading your pre-recorded files or use the remote recording feature, which makes it simple to record with others by essentially just sharing the link. It also ensures that everyone is recording high quality audio by using their mic check feature. And this is actually really cool. So it'll tell you whether you're too close or too far from the microphone, whether you have too little or too much gain, how much background noise you have, and if there's too much of an echo. And then at that point, it'll automatically sync to the cloud. So you can then copy, paste, delete, rearrange words in the transcript, and the audio will automatically sync with the changes. Talk about efficiency. And finally, say your mic isn't the greatest. We're gonna use my iPhone mic right now as a test and there's lots of room noise or reverb. All you have to do is switch on enhance speech and it's going to turn that audio into a professional sounding podcast or about as good as it'll get if you're recording on a phone. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found a couple tools that are gonna help you in your editing process and make you feel a little less anxious when it comes to editing your audio, whether you're a video editor or you just wanna start a podcast or you're just trying to learn about audio. Guess what? Things got a lot easier for you in the last like year or two with tools like this. So if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please give this video a like down below, subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. It really does support this channel, support me, support Justin over here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.